What's up, everybody? I've always wanted to do that. What's up, everybody? It's Friday! Woof, 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 woof. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah! Uh, it is the weekend, yeah! Yes, come on! Woo. Wish I had a live studio audience at this point, but we don't. Um, welcome to Crafters TV. My name is Ben Mosby. Thank you for joining us on this Friday. I hope you've had a brilliant week. I hope you're ready and ready to go for the final show of the week as we head into the weekend. And the final show, really, of our um, amazing January news that we've been doing. This has been so good. We've had brand new launches each and every day. Uh, and we've done the same again today. Over the course of this masterclass, yes, this is going to be a bit of a floral frenzy. Uh, lots of floral collections in it however um, across the show we are going to be reminding you about today's launch with a floral theme the floribunda pad with the sentiment has been flying out of the door the showstopper deal uh, is around about still 80 percent of the stock gone but we'll talk more about that later on we're going to be looking at the scent with love box we've got a few of the showstopper deals available on that for you so that's hugely exciting we've got the say with flowers collection on the show we've got the wisteria collection on the show we're going to be starting off with some uh, flower forming foam dyes on the show oh it's all Covered. And before we get into the nuts and bolts of it as well, worth bearing in mind, if you don't know yet, 
on the website we have got a last chance saloon section uh, that last chance saloon we've added more items into it um, so if you've looked at it recently and gone oh got 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 need got then we've got loads of new items that you won't potentially have that you need to have a look at so that's worth delving into and also a little mini event which we've launched today which continues until midnight on the 30th of January is our BOGO 23 BOGO 23 which is the buy one get one for 23p it's on the website on the home page whether you're at uh, .com.co.uk or .eu uh, George bring up the panel I saw it in my preview when I, as I thought it was there it's a good job I'm a professional <laughs> Uh, buy one get one for 23p so these are just a few of the items just here so for example we've got the color blend pencils <laughs> the color blend pencils uh, you could get that for 23p uh, re-inkers 23p edgeable dies 23p and here's the thing that you might decide you might jump in and go oh yeah i'll get one lot of the color blend pencils get the second lot for 23p or you can mix and maximum around what i would try and do is find the most expensive items and get them for 23p I know we saw this earlier, yeah. but it sort of just clicked now that there's colour blend pencils in I know, that's it, that's it. So basically what you could do, I've been doing this all day. George, how many times have you put this up? Why do we bother, George? I mean, why do we even, I've done this. But you know, sometimes when you sort of look and you don't necessarily take it in, it's not just me. No. <laughs> and it's just clicked. I was like... Do you know, I feel sometimes that... Um, I say a lot over here and nobody ever listens to a word I say. <laughs> George makes his little panels and puts them up on the screen and nobody <laughs> thinks of the interest. <laughs> so for those of you who haven't been listening today... Um, no, <laughs> I'm, only, I'm only joking. So, so basically, there's a section on the website, colour blend pencils, reinkers, edgeable dies and just as, uh, by the by Nicola has just added a um, eight inch album spine and also a luxury mirror card pad into her basket both over 30 pounds and the card pad is 23p this is the thing and, and you don't have to buy you, you could like multi buy this if you want you get two lots of the color blend pencils normally 24.99 29.95 buy that and then get it again for 23p the second one but anyway you're getting the hang of this look reinkers edgeable dies what else have we got george panel two next slide sentiment dies <laughs> Start, stamps and die sets nesting dies you could be getting as well panel three oh, i've just done that one. Oh, this it was so much better in rehearsals thanks george card packs uh, that's what that's the pa that card pack 23p you could be picking that up for stamps could be getting for 23p ribbon you could be getting for 23p and then also uh, within this section storage crafting tools pattern guides we got there in the end guys well done very professional everybody yeah so profesh um, so do check that out that should have taken one minute it took about nine <laughs> Um, so yes, there we go. Ever professional here at Crafters TV. Uh, let, we'll say a few hellos in just a second, but I'm also going to say the biggest hello of the evening to the lovely uh, Michelle, who's the other side of the studio, and my crafty partner in crime. We've got a lovely show coming up, haven't we? We really have. Mm. We really have. I've got some samples. Shall Let's I have say? a look at Shall them. I see what we got. Some samples. So we've got a mixed bag of all sorts on the show today. So we've got this lovely um, box set. This scent with look. Is it sent with love? Because I always yeah. say it wrong. Yeah, sent with love. Sent with love. Um, I launched this down at Hobby Maker. I love this. So we've got this, look, making that into a lovely shaker. And of course, we've got the beautiful Floribunda. Oh, yes. And the vellum. I've had to show this again because it's amazing. But I really want to show you this. Now, I know you've probably seen this because I know Sarah's probably shown it. But it is stunning. And it really shows what you can do with those paper pads. Oh, yes. I mean, look at that. All those boxes on there. It's just amazing. I love this. I love, 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 love that. Um, so we've just got some normal um, flower farming foam dies on. Yeah. Um, and I'm showing you this one because this is mine. Oh. And the reason I'm showing you it is because it was from when I was on the design team. So, and it was when we was down at the other studios, you know, 
before we moved over oh, to Hobby yes. Maker. Because uh -huh. mm -hmm. it says it here on the back. So that is how old this card is. But look at those flowers. Look at that foam. How they have kept themselves or Absolutely. kept their form. So that's the reason. I didn't just want to show off my own sample. I, well, I like why to show not if you, you can. how well that the foam keeps itself. Say it with flowers. Beautiful. Just look at those flowers. Look at the depth that you can get on the, the, that foam. And of course, these ones. Oh, the um, I, crepe paper. The crepe paper. I love these. They're just stunning. Um, we've also got these for you. Embossing folders. Oh, yeah. That is one of my favourites of all time. We've got a little bit of wisteria for Ooh. you. So those beautiful... Um, Grapes Could or be grapes. wisteria. <laughs> hey, you guys laugh, but Linda agreed with me. Um, and then these cut and emboss folders. Again, we carry on that flower theme um, through these samples. Another one. I just grabbed mm, low. Wow. I couldn't stop because there's just so many beautiful ones down here. And then we've got this. I love this sentiment. I'm going to be using this sentiment in a little, in a little bit, so I just thought I would show you it. Think happy thoughts. Amazing. Lots to um, get your teeth into on this show. We've got Rachel again with us. Um, hi to Carletta, who's joined us from Arkansas. Uh, Barbara Newton is with us from North Carolina. Hello. Rosemary says hello from Houston. Houston. I always get that wrong. It's Houston, not Houston. Houston, Texas. I love Crafters TV and the awesome products from Crafters Companion. I love Sarah, Ben, Michelle, and the entire gang. Thank you. We love you too. Um, Kimberly says hello and good afternoon from North Carolina. Hello. Uh, Ron Gold says hello from Western New York. Hello. Mary Pat says hello again, everyone from Montana. Hi. Hi, Jackie Deschamps from Essex. Hi, Jennifer Garlington. He says hey there from Northern VA, VA, Virginia. Uh, trying to celebrate National Have Fun at Work Day by telling some of Ben's best, best, it, don't worry, Ben's best slash worst dad jokes to my paediatric patients. Uh, how are you getting on with that, Jennifer? Is anyone laughing or is anyone groaning or what? Let me know. Uh, Janet says, uh, hello everyone from Michigan, 17F, freezing. Uh, Charlotte says, evening to all, looking forward to all the pretty flowers. Uh, Olga says, hello everyone at work. Uh, so I made Sarah's box with a post-it note, so cute. First time tuning in today, says Karen, and it's so lovely to see Michelle McCarthy uh, back. I've been wondering where she'd been. I'm Just, still here in the background. Yeah. I've not been well, but I'm back. She's back. I'm back. Back again. Michelle's back. <laughs> Tell a friend, Michelle's back, Michelle's back, Michelle's back, Michelle's back, Michelle's back. Uh, Chris Lake says, hello from Texas, glad to see Michelle, missed her, we've all missed her. Uh, Miriam says, wow, that box should be a craft along, Get, I mean, yes, let yes. us know on the socials if you want to see it, could be. Uh, hi to Jackie, says, it's lovely to see you back, Michelle, and Ben McCarthy says, good evening, everyone. Hey, Ben, um, everyone else enjoyed your cookies this evening, um, I was busy uh, just putting the final touches to the wrap-up, so I didn't actually get a chance to eat one of the cookies are there any left yeah, excellent news lots. excellent news i'll have one for my long journey home the four <laughs> miles up the road um <laughs> let's get a crack in then and see what we've got on the show i think we're going to be starting off with the uh flower forming uh dies um and this is a great great deal for you here four piece collection of your flower forming dies basically works out that you're buying three getting one for free and it is the most expensive item, bizarrely, uh, that we're giving you for free. So you're getting the clover for free within this collection. Um, so again, what I love about these is that this is um, a three-piece die set. So you've got the three different sizes of dies in there for you to be able to create your, um, your foam flowers. And you know, it's called clover. We give you suggestions of the kind of colors that you can use, but you don't have to use foam of this color. You know, you don't have to just use foam. You can use all sorts of different materials, but you know, we think they're going to work best when you're using your phone uh, and, you know, and you can create beautiful images just like this. Now, also along with this collection, we're going to give you your uh, pine cone. So again, you're getting five dies included within that set. Now, the fact that you've got a pine cone and then you've also got like a, da a, daff, a daffodil, which is super cute. And then also in this set, you are going to be getting your Hyde Ranger Garden. Uh, that's one of the ones actually as well that comes with the, um, the stencil so you can create bigger 
um, flower forming foam flowers as well. So you've got the dies for your smaller ones, create bigger ones with your stencil. And lastly, in this bundle, you have got your autumnal leaves. Again, uh, you know, great for creating little um, autumn style wintry cards, but you know, you change up the colors of those just a little bit. You can use those as foliage pieces, um, you know, alongside all of the other flowers that you've got. And yes, you know, potentially you could use those not just for cards, but for boxes, for table um, decorations as well. Maybe for your Thanksgiving. I mean, Thanksgiving is a long way off yet, isn't it? But, you know, keep them for that point. Just worth bearing in mind too, whilst we've got this on a brilliant deal for you, £19.18 or $23.88, you might want to also add into your basket um, flower forming foam. We've got foam on a deal for you as well. And we've also got, you'll check the website for this, literally stamens of all sorts of colours and descriptions so if it's stamens that you need then do check the web but you do get some in this bundle your white flower forming foam and white stamens collection bundle you're going to get a set of 14 sheets of your white flower flower forming foam and you're also going to get 800 stamens so that's uh, two of this two of this and the brilliant thing is with the white, of course, you can color those in and make those whatever color that you want them to be for whatever color flower that you're working with. So £13.18 is your platinum price, $21.48. Obviously, you know, same goes with the foam. I mean, you can color this in and make it a flower for all occasions. That's why I think it's quite nice that we've put the white into the bundle so that you've got a uh, full choice with all of your um, inks to change that for whatever flower you want it to be. That plus the dyes is a brilliant couple of bundles to go for. Uh, but let us get a crack in. What are you going to create for us, Michelle? Some flowers. Good job. <laughs> 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 a giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been funny, wouldn't it? <laughs> Flower forming masterclass. What have you got for us? Well, I'm making a giraffe. <laughs> <sighs> um, I really tickled myself then. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I'm going to use, so this is my all-time favourite. Uh, this is the um, original flower forming uh, foam dies that we brought out. This is from this, and this is the clover. Um, and this is the one that I use more than any other. Um, I don't know why. Maybe it's just because it's the first one that I ever used. Mm. Um, I just, I love it. You can make so many different shapes with this one. It is very, very versatile. So I've got lots of different coloured foam on here. And I'm just going to pop all three on and I'm just going to um, run those through. Um, if I use more than what I normally would, I yeah. will just save them. I've got a little uh, drawer at home where I will just save them all and then I will use them when I need to. Let me just... What's going on? No, I, um, I was just checking my plate combination because I, I thought I'd put too many in which I had because it didn't go through. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, you saw that it wasn't going anywhere, which is what I love about this machine. It's, um, it's literally foolproof. Exactly right. No, no, she's not a fool, Nicola, you're correct. So let me <laughs> just... <laughs> to say that in, in our ears. <laughs> you're not a fool, though, Michelle. No, she is not. Let me just swap. I'm going to swap to my bigger plates because I've got quite a lot of foam there which I think, oh, look at that. New plates. It's almost like people knew I was coming. Um, Don't tell Tracy, though. Where, 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 did you nick those? There, there was already here, ah. and I don't know if there was just here to it's, look It's a it. welcome back gift for you, Michelle, that's oh, what it is. thank you. New plates for you. <laughs> By the way, if you need new plates, we've got that uh, deal from the other day rolled over. Um, buy three, get one free in the Gemini and the Junior. Particularly good if you're a Gemini user, because I know a lot of people like to use their big plates and the Junior plates also inside the Junior, yeah. inside the Gemini. Yeah, definitely. It's always nice to get new plates. There we go. So let me just pop these off. And out. So as, as always, if you just give your petals a bit of a wiggle. Yeah. Um, they should all separate lovely, except for that one, because that one's not playing. Leave that for now. So let's just separate the rest. <laughs> the, the only problem is I've got, I've had these, um, 
I've been watching Debbie and she's got beautiful nails, so I thought, oh, I'll have some nice nails on. I don't know how she crafts like she does with Who's those that? nails on. Debbie, oh, Debbie Robinson. Robinson. You, are they new nails, are they? Yeah. I'm going to have to ask her for some tips. Do you not normally have nails? I mean, do you <laughs> no, not normally have any no. nails? No nails. <laughs> oh. what, so is, when did they get put on? Well, I had some on put some, um, just before Christmas. Mm -hmm. It would have been for my Christmas shows, but unfortunately I was poorly. Ah. So I, I liked them so much um, that I thought, oh, I might start having my nails done. So mm. I have. I meant to say how lovely your nails look today. And I just, just always... Thank you. <laughs> Nicholas, shush. Thank you very much. I, I did notice them <laughs> earlier, but just I keep forgetting to mention it. <laughs> right, so I'm going to bring in my iron. And this is, again, that is the, the set that you will get if you're buying this distressing set. Mm. Um, you've got your foam thing and you've got your little finger toboggan and then this is the distresser. Yeah. Um, and you, obviously you're going to get your ball tools as well. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my tweezers. And you can do this however you want. You might want to hold it on with uh, just your ball tool. How what do you have your iron, by the way? Um, so I normally have mine on an, uh, a medium. This oh, one's okay. on full. Right. But uh, medium to full is uh, the best heat. Anything lower than that, you're not really sort of going to be getting... Well, you're just not, you're just not going to get enough heat to distress it. Yeah. So all I've done is I've just screwed my ends up. I either fold them or concertina them. It's entirely up to you. And we're just going to distress it. And I'm going to bring in my ball tool and I'm just going to pop the bottoms of those petals just round there. There's lots of appreciation coming in for your nails now. Ah, oh, thank you. They do look lovely, says Carletta. And Christine says, no, oh, I was going to comment earlier about how beautiful your nails are. <laughs> Were you though, Christine? <laughs> Were you? Really? <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> details at the bottom of your screen for the flower forming tools we're going to put up the uh, well the details for the ball tools there oh that's there sorry <laughs> oh sorry to big yes sorry i am concentrating honestly <laughs> anyone think i've got the weekend off um yes sorry you get the ball tools <laughs> with the three tools but with the six different size balls and then you've got the finger toboggan and distressor included as well i'll show you that in a bit you actually get the Finger toboggan for free, don't you, within that bundle? <laughs> Do you know what, I am, I've missed so... I've missed everything about being up, up here, but the, mo the one thing I've missed more than anything... <laughs> oh, no, what, what is it? Is, is, is listening to you, what's, watching your face yes. while these guys are saying what they're saying and you're pulling all sorts of faces. George, keep him in the box the whole time. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm all, no, I'll, <laughs> yes, but it's not as if like it's not as if like you put me in the box and then I can't get out. You know, it's like oh, I'm trapped in the box. I can't. Oh, 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 the box. I can just like go. Beep. <laughs> oh, I'll come. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! I didn't know he could move the camera. <laughs> now I'm going to cause him a problem. <laughs> George and the joystick, what do you like? Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. You can tell it's Friday, can't you? Yes. I'm actually, I, I'm actually, if I haven't got the weekend off, I'm actually doing a little bit of work elsewhere tomorrow, so I haven't got a day off. I'm, I'm off on Sunday, um, but uh, yeah, so I, I, I've sort of got half weekend vibes, but not like full, full weekend vibes. Not full on week, no. no. Are you here this week, whole weekend? Uh, I'm in tomorrow with, with Debbie Fisher. Oh, lovely. And the fabulous George. Hmm. Um, no, no, I didn't mean like that, George. <laughs> I went, oh, brilliant, brilliant, yep. Oh, is it just George? It's oh, it's George of the jungle on his own. George of the jungle? George of the joystick <laughs> on his own, isn't it, tomorrow? <laughs> Not George of the jungle. <laughs> now I'm picturing him in a line clock. Oh, God, there's an image. Swinging from tree to tree. <laughs> he's just said he'll come in in a loin cloth if he want, but it's a bit cold, so he's maybe not up for that. Maybe in the summer, he said. 
<laughs> right, so let me... So. <laughs> Well, he's got that summer bod ready. He's 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 uh, he's he's on, he's on the he's on the diet back in the gym. He'll be uh, he'll be George of the Jungle ready for the summertime. <laughs> <laughs> like Brendan Fraser in no time. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. So I have only done three on this purely for, for time. Um, if I was at home making these. I would definitely use lots more. I always use at least eight um, different petals. Yeah. I'm just going to pop them through. But um, I distressed this one just so um, whoever it was who asked earlier, I'm sorry, I can't remember her name, uh, about distressing. So I've just done um, these distressed petals exactly how I said that you should do. Um, I've stretched mine out a lot more with my ball tool. But mm. um, again, so that's entirely up to you. So that's just one little petal there and then we'll just pop um, a lovely card together beautiful so i've just got so it's a seven by seven you know when you make your foam flowers and do you find that you i mean obviously you put them on the on your cards but do you like to put them on boxes and home decor i mean how do you use your flowers i i put them on so much they mm. look beautiful on boxes they look beautiful on tags with just like one little one on a tag oh, it just looks nice. beautiful yeah it really does and with the foam flowers as well are they um I'm thinking like, could, you know, could you make like a little brooch out of them or little yes. wristbands oh, yes. maybe? So you can make little um, wristbands out of them. So you can make your headbands. Um, oh, you fine. could even pop some on some earrings if you wanted, if you had all those kind of jewellery making bits. Would you have to stabilise them then with like a spray um, on? Well, that's not necessarily. You could do, you I could suppose. Do, unless you was, well, no, because, um, unless you were going swimming in them. <laughs> <laughs> Which I don't think you're going to be. I don't think you would need to. I think if you'd inked them up, yeah. you might want to put something over them mm. um, to maybe stop. But um, there's lots of people now are using them to make the bridal bouquets with. Yeah. Um, and especially oh, when... Oh, a little um, bouquet for like a, you yeah. know, the pocket for the yeah. gentle lapel. Um, um, it's that's the corsage, isn't it? Corsage around your wrist. That's a little... Uh, Boutonnier. Yes. Boutonnier. Boutonnier. Oui. But some of these have got the stencil in as well, which yes. allows you to make bigger ones. the bigger ones. So absolutely brilliant. But a huge thing at the minute is bridal bouquets, either out of crepe paper or paper or especially foam. So um, they look beautiful and they last forever. Mm. So, Right, I'm going to bring this in. So that is those beautiful sentiment stamps that oh, we've yes. got. Just think happy thoughts. Mindfulness quote stamps from yesterday. Yeah. And again, some beautiful little sentiments on there. Perfect for if you're doing little home decor items or if you just want to send that card to someone just to say, you're fabulous or I'm thinking of you. So let me just, it's obviously gonna go on some foam pads. There we go, so let's turn that round and pop that on there in the middle. And then I'm gonna bring in some of the flowers that I've already made. Um, and you can see I've just done a little mixture, some where I've distressed them and some where I haven't. And we're just going to pop those round. So I've also got some of the, um, so these leaves are from this one, the Autumn Leaves uh, die set, which is, uh, again, another one of my favourites. We, um, <laughs> we've just put the details up on the screen for the mindfulness quote stamps. We do have some of the showstopper left on that one from yesterday. Um, basically, the showstopper deal is you get all the stamps. You get the pale fig um, ink dry, ink dry, quick dry ink pad, and then we give you lagoon and parakeet. I remember all of that off the top of my head from yesterday. <laughs> yes, I did. Yes, I did. You get the lagoon and parakeet uh, for free within that bundle. Um, £19.15 or £28.56 is the platinum price on that. Uh, we can't have a lot of those left, so if you do want to go for that collection with the ink pads, uh, then do make sure you get in nice and quickly. Uh, hi to Zoe, says, thank you, Michelle. That was me who asked about the distressing the petals, ah. and I really appreciate you doing this again for me. No, no, no problem at all. I only did one petal earlier, and I thought, actually, mm. um, we'll do a few more so you can see. Um, Carolyn says, you all make me so happy. Well, that is lovely to hear um, that we put smiles on faces. Um, thank you. And Terry says, hello from Ohio. Hello, lovely Terry. Uh, you say, I'm walking on the treadmill. Michelle, you have inspired me to knock the dust off and get moving. Oh, good. Nice good work. 
nice to do a bit of the old uh, exercise, isn't it? I feel a bit bad I've done nothing this week because um, I've, you know, I've been in here for most of the week and I can't even do my little... I can't even do my park run tomorrow either, so I'm a bit gutted about that. I'll have to go out and run a marathon on Sunday to make up for it. That's what I'll do. I think you should. Absolutely. Yeah. Hmm. Um, Dorothy just said, I'm shopping in the BOGO section. Uh, oh, I'm like discovering that. there are a lot of Spectrum Noir colours I don't have in my collection. In the BOGO, yeah, apparently. The buy one, get one section. Oh, now here's the thing. Is that still live? Because we've got the buy one, get one for 23p section. And yesterday, I don't know if it's still on the website, we've got the buy one, get one free section on individual Spectrum Noir pens. That was yesterday. It might not still be live. And I might have got you excited about something, but we will check. We will check. Right, so I think I'm happy with that. So if I stand that up and turn it round for you, um, those lovely foam flowers with my favourite dye of all time. That is incredible. Thank you very much. I really love that a lot. Um, combining lots of elements of uh, items that we've had recently and of course these amazing uh, flower forming foam dyes yes that section is still up on the website if you want to check it out uh, oh, it ends at midnight it ends tomorrow at midnight the uh, BOGO on the uh, Spectrum Noir pens just to quickly recap you then on the flower forming foam dyes great Do you know what We've done loads of great prices um, this week, and this is another one of those where for under £20, under $24, you can get a lovely selection of dyes to be playing with. And don't forget, whilst you will, you know, we're kind of pointing you in the direction of these to use with your foam, you can use them, you know, with your vellums, with your papers as well, should you wish to. Use them however you wish. Love the idea of newspaper, maybe old books as well, they always look very nice in. I mean, obviously, if you get a book from the library, don't stop turning the pages up. And, you know, if you're using someone else's book, make sure you check first what did you else say oh yes i love the idea of using like musical um notation like transcript from um you know uh, music scores great idea as well all brilliant you're going to get the clover dies that's the most expensive set within the bundle and we're giving that to you for free free yes julia free and then you're also going to get all of the uh, autumn leaves as well so these are beautiful you know great again i like the idea of like um what you said earlier nicola like creating like little table settings and places for your thanksgiving and uh, wintry meals and whatnot i think that's a lovely thing to do with those then you've got your hide ranger garden the hide ranger garden is one of the sets where you get the smaller dies but then we give you the template uh, to be able to um cut your bigger florals out of as well so that's rather nice and then you've got your pine cone but as you see the pine cone can very easily double up as a beautiful daffodil as well you're going to get five dies in total within that set so all of those dies a four-piece collection for under 20 pounds 19 pounds 18 if you're platinum $23.88 if you are uh, shopping in the US and you're and you're a uh, and you're a platinum member. Um, and of course, don't forget to add into your basket the foam as well, which we've also got available for you. Um, Jackie says, I placed an order today for the Spectrum Noir pens. Nice work. Yeah, ends at midnight tomorrow. Uh, and Deborah Barnfall saying, I love that card. Very cheerful and happy, much like Michelle herself. Now, plates. 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 The plates for your Gemini and also your Junior. Now, these are still on a deal that we had running the other day, so please take advantage of this. Buy three, get the fourth for free. And as I said the other day, these were supposed to come off, but we've rolled them over again just because you guys have been buying them in your droves and we want to make sure as many of you as possible get these. Not the most interesting thing to look at. I'll grant you that. But these are consumables for your machines. You know, the kind of things that you do need to replace over time, you know, and if you are particularly like a heavy user of your, um, your Gemini machines, you need stacks of these in your drawers for when, um, you know, you're halfway through a project and your plate's playing up and you need a new one. We'll give you three that you pay for. We'll give you the fourth one for free. Uh, that is a great deal, £19.18 or $26.38. Don't wait. Like, even if you're saying like right now, oh, well, I've got enough plates, I've got enough stored away, get more than you think that you'll need because what's the point in paying full price for them when you do need them when you can pick up four for the price of three right now, pop them away in a drawer, and then, you know, you've got them for when you need them. £19.18, $26.38. And the junior plates, of course, for your junior, but also for your Gemini, because I know a lot of you like to turn those on their side. 
turn those on the side uh, and pop those into your OG. However, we do have the OG plates, the original Gemini plates available for you too. And once again, those available for you on a uh, 443 deal. So again, you're just popping that bundle into your basket. You pay for three, we give you the fourth for free. £23.98 or $40.78. Again, stock up on these, all your consumables. I don't know how long that deal is staying on for with the um, Gemini plates, so get them whilst you can. Four clear cutting plates for the price of three, whether you're going Junior or Gemini, grab those today. Or indeed, if you are a Gemini user, potentially, you might be going for both. Right, next up, cut and embossing folders on the floral theme um, because this is our masterclass on all things flowery. Uh, these actually only launched back in November and we've got them on a fantastic deal for you tonight. Uh, these were $103.92, just shy of $120, £77 today or $89, platinum price $61.60 or $71.20. Gorgeous these are as well because what you're going to get are eight cut and emboss folders in total. You're going to get four square, I think they're about four by four. We'll double check. And then you've got your four by sixy sort of size in the rectangles. Um, now, in the square cut and emboss folders, you have got these beautiful designs. So first up is your uh, striking gerbils, as I like to call this one. It's actually gerbera, but it's much funnier when you call them gerbils. I just imagine little gerbils in karate suits. Five by fives, yes and the bigger ones are four by six. So I was, yes, I was there, I was right. I was right, cool, look at me with the knowledge. Now, um, yeah, with, and you, you guys know how these work, but in case you don't, one pass through your machine is gonna give you this beautiful aperture here. So again, you can uh, mat and layer that up, just pop in a little, um, sentiment, pop in a, you know, a butterfly, whatever it might be, or indeed create things like your shaker cards with these as well. But you get the emboss around the outside and that cut in one pass. So, you know, ink these up in bright colors on your white cardstock. Look equally as nice, actually. Um, we had these on a little while ago and whoever was with me was making cards in black cardstock and then using a bit of um, gilding wax around the outside. So a, a little bit of a different take on it. But um, also in the five by fives, you're getting the fragrant magnolias. You're gonna receive, this one's gorgeous, the vibrant rose, got that sort of heart shape going on for Valentine's Day, won't be long, fast approaching. Um, and then you're also gonna get the dancing daffodils. So that's the four in the squares. And then you're also gonna get your four by sixes, so your uh, rectangles, again, really beautiful. I think we feature like all of your um, sort of favorite florals in here as well, because that one's a beautiful winter rose. By the way, I know I'm holding these all in um, portrait, Look equally as nice landscape for you as well, so whichever way you want to go. Then you've got this one here, which is your uh, beautiful uh, forget-me-nots. Then you've got the uh, peony blooms. And then lastly in this set is that beautiful blossom. Does anyone else sometimes think with these as well? Like particularly this one there, for example, you could almost like cut it into a box and then put some little tissues inside and have like an extravagant tissue box. Get out of town. <laughs> no. Is, are you gonna, is that what you're doing yes. next? <laughs> Great minds. Are you, are, you, are you joking me? Shall I show you? <laughs> I am slightly freaked out by that. I'm a little freaked out by that. Is that your next demo? Yes. I meant to show you it earlier because I really liked it and I never got round to it. And then you just said that. I was like, no. I, do you know what? <laughs> Here's the thing. Like today, I feel like I've said things. I, I think things all the time. And sometimes I think, oh, don't say that because you're going to look silly. Like earlier on when I said about the wisteria and the grapes, I always think that, but I thought, oh, I'll, just, I'll say it today. And I've always thought that, particularly about these ones, the four by six, I've always thought, wouldn't they make a really beautiful, extravagant tissue box? And the day I say it, it's the day you're literally doing a demo. I feel, I've got to tell you, I feel a little bit freaked out by that. <laughs> I do, it is yeah. genuinely a bit Twilight Zone-y, that. Because yeah. what, what are the chances of me saying that and then you doing that in your demo? <laughs> and it, honestly, I'm, this is genuine. Like, I'm shocked. <laughs> I know, I can see. I feel really, sorry, I feel really freaked out by that. That was uh, very si cool. <laughs> 60 minutes, which is like we can throw to a VT if you're like, you know, it's fine, I'll carry on. I know, because I want to see it. 61 pounds, 
Can you believe that? £61.60 or $71.20, unbelievable. Um, we're going to get on to the demo. Well, I'll read some more comments, but I do feel I need to go and have a bit of a lie down after <laughs> that episode. So have you always thought that or have you just, have you, like, I, I can't even speak. <laughs> Have you done that before, made a tissue box? Or is it just something you've thought of recently? No, it, I mean, I've made tissue boxes before, but I mean, you know, I picked these dies up and because it gives you the aperture in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, I just thought it would be perfect to make an extravagant uh, tissue box. I, I literally, like Carolyn just said, we've all been freaked out with that. That is, like, what is the chances of me saying that and that, like, that is like, that is like, earlier on, me going, oh, these wisterias look like a bunch of grapes, and you go, oh, funny you should say that, and pulling out like a bunch of grapes from underneath. <laughs> Isn't that what it's equivalent to? Sorry, it really I'll, is. Go, carry on, I'm freaked out. It's really funny, though, because I've been sat out there eating a bunch of grapes. Yeah. Do -do. That's not as freaky. No, not as, as that. As the tissue box thing, but still fairly freaky. <laughs> Am I demoing now? <laughs> Sorry, yes, I'll, I'll shut up now. I'm going to sit on the shelf. Uh, so I was thinking, you know, maybe we should do maybe a tissue box. <laughs> no one would make a tissue box out of these. What a ridiculous <laughs> suggestion. What are you even on about? Um, and, you know, uh, Valentine is coming up. Um, so I've picked the heart one with the beautiful roses on it. So I've got a piece of my card cut down already. It's just um, over five by five and I'm going to pop it in and I've got my watercolour card because we're going to use our aqua pens for this. Yeah. So let's pop that on there. Pop that in the middle. And put my top plates on. So let's just run that through. Um, I'm, still at, I'm still at the stage where I'm a little bit mind blown with that one. <laughs> Genuine. <laughs> Genuinely mind blown. Um, for, yeah, freaked out. <laughs> I don't know what to say, really. <laughs> I, can't, I can't literally just say it's freaked me out. It's freaked me out that much that I put wrong plate combination through well, again. Well, there we go. <laughs> I need to, let me just pop that back through again. Um, Debbie just says, hi, Ben and Michelle from New York. Ben, please tell Michelle that I made three gift boxes slash purses following her example this morning. Oh, Great brilliant. for Valentine's gift. Um, and talking of the striking gerbils, gerberas that you get in this collection, um, our Rachel says, my mum once wrote best girly in a card to me and I thought it said best gerbil. <laughs> Ever since then. <laughs> Ever since then, I've been her best gerbil. Good work. I like that a lot. <laughs> I like that a lot as well. Oh dear. So there you go. I've run it through properly with my proper plates and you've got that beautiful emboss on there. Mm. Uh, you've also got that... Um, bit of waste if you cut this out again in a different color paper piece it back in so this is a heart you know cut it out in some pink paper piece it back in it looks lovely so i've just got a few of my aqua pens here and yes i'm still using this the world's best gift um, um yes <laughs> your non-spillable water <laughs> yeah. cup thing yeah it's the best thing ever who still got you that again Sorry? Who got you that? Do you know what? Uh, terrible with names. I can't remember. Uh, I can't remember her name. If you're watching, let me know. Yeah. Um, and I'm sorry. Do you know what? My kids don't get called by their real no. names. So um, I've nigh on chance remembering anyone else's. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, some aqua pens. Uh, I've got my water and my brushes. So I've got a bit of tissue. So, again, you've seen me do this many times before. Oh, if you've, you've, this is the first time you're tuning in, you haven't. Uh, there's a couple of ways that you can do it. I want to pick my rose red. So you've got two ways. One of the main ways I do it is I, I will um, pop it a little bit down on my mat. I will wet my brush and I will pick it up. And I will just watercolour as if I'm just watercolouring with normal watercolours um, and a paintbrush. And just pick it up and then just carry it out. And what I like about this is you, you get a natural blend out of colour without having to do a three shade blend on if you're using our classics. Just by the nature of what watercolouring is. 
um, so let's just pop all this down and what I love is you don't have to be incredibly neat uh, <laughs> <as I'm, laughs> always makes it nice doesn't it, it? does yeah. but I love I love when people watercolor and you see all those white bits in between I think it just adds to the effect of watercoloring I just think it's lovely uh, but what you can also do is, if you want to, let's bring it round to this one. So you can actually draw the colour down on here. So just sort of popping it into bits where I want it to be um, more of a, a darker shade. I'm going to pick up some water and we're just going to drag it out. And again, you get a lovely natural progression from that. Um, that deeper shade out to a it's like an ombre effect isn't it like a what ombre oh ombre yes so let's just pull that out it was lynn um rachel thinks who sent you the i think it was the uh, the name sounds very cup it was lynn Har oh lynn harvey yes. lovely yep. lynn harvey i met lynn on the tour yes oh did you yes you did, I remember seeing the pictures. There was pictures. Yes, I had a picture with her. I can't remember which venue it was at though. I want to say it was Guildford. Oh, I don't remember. Oh, I don't remember that. I do remember though, now you've said that. Yeah, I do remember meeting Lynn. I remember meeting lots of you and you're all lovely, lovely people. Um, but yeah, lovely Lynn I met um, on the tour. So that's yeah. who it was. Hmm. Yeah. Right, so I'm going to bring this one in. It's already dried and everything. Um, all I've done is I've gone round the hat with a bit of blue. I think, which did I use? I think I used either my teal or my kingfisher but you've got a lot of choice in these anyway um, and then that's what it looks like obviously all dried and everything so let's bring in my all my bits to make this um, great idea Ben with the tissue box <laughs> <laughs> so let me bring in all those bits so all I have done is I've created sort of two side panels so let me turn that over and measure it for you. So it's just over nine inches wide by just over, just over five inches high. I've scored it in half and I've just got two tabs here and one at the side and exactly the same on this one. So let's just, again, just fold these over. Do you know what? There's, um, Nicola's just chatting in my ear saying this is this better win demo of the show. It could even win demo of the day. Funny you should say that. Terry has said Sarah made the challenge to Michelle and basically Sarah was like smashing it, like really going for it today. Just laying down the challenge for demo of the day. And oh. Terry says Michelle has taken that challenge on and smashed it. <laughs> this is going to be a tough day to choose. <laughs> On oh, demo of the week to m oh oh demo of the week on Sunday isn't it and then demo of the month as well uh, yes oh mm. right so I've just got my four panels and I, again I'm going to pop them on before I um, make this up because um, Jan said so <laughs> no, <laughs> it's always obviously easier to put your panels on I always forget nearly every single time. Um, I make my box and then I'm like, Ugh, am I supposed to get my panels on? So let's pop these on this one. Christine's just said, I love doing this. When I was on the craft along and I coloured it in, it wasn't good compared to painting it on with the aqua pens and the paintbrush. Do you want me to send mine in? Yeah. Yes. Send it in, Christine. Studio at Crafters Companion. .co.uk. Any pics of any projects that you've done recently? Love to see them, particularly if you've done anything with the um, maybe wisteria collection, say it with flowers collection. Yes. Um, send in the pictures and we'll do a little gallery later on. Oh, nearly an hour in the show already. It's flown over this hour. Um, yeah, send them in. We'll do a little a little gallery. Right, any pets you want to send in as well? No, don't do that. Oh. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I've sent my pets in. I know, I only said it because you reminded me before the show started. <laughs> Right, so let's now I've got all four of my panels on I'm just putting some glue down each side let's pop these together there we go and then 
turn this round, pop that one there. So I've gone over with the glue, but you can see as you just rub it away and it comes off. So let's get rid of that. There we go. Marvelous. So these tabs here, mm -hmm. um, obviously they're not for the bottom of my box, which you would normally assume. They are for the top, because okay. this is going to go on here and on here, and then we're going to glue it down. So these tabs at the top give me something to stick these to, basically. So let me just bring in this, and I'm just going to put a tiny little bit of glue under each corner, because then it's going to stick down. So let me just... Oh, I saw that. <laughs> Sorry, they're flashing up pictures. Uh, is this a picture that's been set in today? Oh, previous pictures of pets that we've got in the system. The guys in the gallery are looking at. <laughs> they're, they're working hard, honestly. As, as always. As always. As always. Don't, because if you start sending in pictures of dogs, then I'll have to send in send the guys a picture of um, my two. Oh, my cute little baby Molly, she's not so <laughs> small anymore. And then, then, then that'll just start an avalanche and we'll just be looking at pet pictures for the rest of the show. <laughs> and we potentially crash the system again. And I don't want to do that twice because I got in trouble the first time. <laughs> George hit me with his joystick. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't nice. Thanks for that visual. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I've just mat and laid that onto that lovely pink, and all I'm doing now is going to pop it on the top, um, and I'm just holding. I've used my wet glue because I want it to have a nice hold, so I'm just going to turn it back over. Well, and it's probably easy for me to do it that way because I can judge that I'm getting it in. Um, the middle all the way around. Yeah. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my burnishing tool mm -hmm. just so I can reach in there. Excuse me if you saw my head. Um, and just press that down so it grabs beautifully. I mean, if you want to, if you really want to give that an extra layer of strength on the top um, and hide those um, tabs on the inside, you could always obviously cut another one of these. You could, you'd have to cut it down to fit in, but then if you cut it down and popped it in the middle, you're hiding that mess. I mean, it's not mess per se, is no. it? But you know, you're just hiding those tabs if you want to. And then, where am I? So here. So I've got all these lovely um, hearts that I'm mm. going to pop on the sides. But what I'm going to do is if I bring this one in that's already done because I'm conscious of time, I've just got a box of tissues. Uh, I was going to ask how you did that. So you're placing it over the actual box itself. It's just going to pop itself. over, yeah. Oh, so it's reusable as well. It is. Place it over. Oh, that yeah, is So I'm going to place it over. You pull your tissue out and you can see it's decorated all around the edges. Um, yeah, and it just pops on and off. You can make a base for it if you want to, but um, it just pops on and off. Let's sit that I, I, in the middle of the table. Do you know what? I feel um, like this is going to be a really tough vote today because that is brilliant. Uh, the, the, the reason I love that, the, well, A, I love that because it's <laughs> awesome, but B, I also love it for the fact that I had it in my weird, wacky mind and then you've just made it a reality, which is totally still freaking me out. It is, but yeah. That is just brilliant and I love Thank that you. so much. Um, it is going to be obviously up for the vote on the demo of the show in about mm, 40 minutes time, 50 minutes time and of course if it wins uh, demo of the day. That is going to be a heck of a vote later on with um, Sarah's um, makes as well. I well, I tell you what, I'm not, I'm not going to call anything right now, but uh, it's going to be it's going to be a interesting vote either way. Uh, Michelle says, "Even it is so good to have you back. Absolutely, it is." Um, just very quickly show you all the cut and embossed folders that you're going to be getting in this collection. Uh, £61.60 is the platinum price. $71.20. Worth bearing in mind as well, if you don't want to buy the full collection, it's two for £22 or two for $25 if you want to um, sort of buy individually. But in your squares, you've got your striking uh, jersey. You've got your um, fragrant magnolias, this beautiful vibrant rose, 
and then this one here, which is your dancing dragonfly. So those are all five by five. So you might want to just mix and match, get one of the five by fives and then one of the four by six, 22 pounds, $25. Then of course, less your uh, Club Inspire discount. Then you've got your Winter Rose in the four by six, all these four by six. You've got your Forget Me Nots. You have the beautiful Peony Blooms. And then lastly, to make up that collection is your beautiful Blossoms. 6160, 7120 is your platinum price or two for 22 or two for 25. Just before we give you time to check out your baskets, I do want to um, point you in the direction of our Florabunda and simply said paper and bellum showstopper collection. We are uh, just over that 80% mark here, I think. Uh, a lot of you bought it earlier on. If you're thinking to yourself, ah, I've missed out, you haven't. We're uh, just around 80% of the stock now gone on this. And remember, the Showstopper bundle brings you the uh, brand new Florabunda paper pad. You're going to get your vellums in there as well, the 8x3 vellums with the beautiful uh, sayings on. There's uh, 36 of those included. And then you get a huge bundle of uh, paper and cardstock included as well. You've got your Winter Solstice in there. You've got your Garden Gnomes in there. You've got one of the Make and Send paper pads in there. Uh, you've got a huge amount of our Centura Pearl cardstock as well. If we get a chance later, perhaps I'll go through all of that. You can see it on the website. Plus, you're going to get 50 bonus points as well, which is amazing. £52, $72. And actually, all of the other goodies that you get in there, as far as the um, extra papers and pads are concerned, you should be paying £85 or $116 for that alone. But you're only actually paying an extra 45 or 64 Then you've got your discount. So it comes down to £52 or $72. That's flying over 80% gone. Something else which is proving very popular, and it's the, this is literally the last of it, is the ultimate 16th anniversary um, USB. Um, we are um, over a third of the stock of this gone, and that's it. Once that has gone, that is it. So if you enjoyed some of the projects that Sarah was making earlier on, this is worth snapping up, and certainly, uh, yes, Michelle did one in Wake Up Call earlier on. That seems like yesterday. Sorry, apologies. If you enjoy the projects that Michelle and Sarah were making earlier on, snap this one up. 33 projects. And the great thing is, as we were talking about, you can watch the projects being made. You know, you can do it at your own pace, rewind, fast forward, come back to it. But you can also, um, as, as both Sarah and Michelle showed you, print out the actual instructions as well. So whether you're a more visual learner or whether you like to see the instructions written down, your quid's in. Um, and this is an absolute must be. If you haven't picked this up and you have got, you know, our ultimate pro at home and any of the scoreboards that go with it, grab it. Because you should have you should have paid £45, $50 for this. Look at the platinum price, it's ridiculous. £16, $28. Um, and it, it's honestly such a brilliant USB uh, to go for. And once that has gone, that will be that. So let us take a short little break, give you opportunity to check out your uh, baskets. Loads of love coming through, just to pass on very quickly as well to Michelle. Jackie says she loves that project, Michelle. Thank you. Um, and Lorraine Jackson saying, I love the idea of that tissue box. Rhonda saying, what was that about sending in pics? Send in your pics. We'll do a bit of a pic gallery before the end of the show. Preferably um, projects that you've made recently. Any, any old projects that you've made recently that you'd love to share with the um, rest of the family. If you've got any which ties in with any of the bundles that we've got on the show, then even better. And if you want to send in the occasional picture of a dog or a cat, meh, I'm not going to stop you. Let George deal with that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, stop it. We're not sending any more. You're going to crash the system. Send in some pics. Um, we'll be back in about three or four minutes time. And uh, we'll see you then. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration, and of course you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. If you love Crafters TV, we've made it easy for you to watch us wherever you are. 
Whether you catch us on your tablet or take us with you on your mobile phone, it's easy to watch us anywhere. From here to here. Maybe don't watch us here. It would be easy to watch us here. Probably the easiest place to watch us is here. Crafters TV, with you wherever you are. We get to know people from places and walks of life that we wouldn't come across in our everyday life if it wasn't for um, Crafters TV and doing what we do. I got so many lovely comments from people when I started doing the presenting and it was just really such a lovely um, feeling. And it's nice that people keep messaging in, you know, we see the same, same people and we know you can build up that kind of relationship with those people. So it's just the fact that people like what we do and they're pleased. And I do love it when people send us photographs of the items that they've made. We talk about customers, but really, the going as a customer, come out as a friend. The support that I get is amazing. The messages I get are amazing. Me, personally, it is personal interaction. I've never had the best of health. I've always been open about that uh, with our viewers at Crafters TV. So many people are in the same situation as me health-wise. Other people have got a completely different health issues. They understand and they relate to what I'm going through, what others are going through. So whether we interact on a crafting basis or whether we interact on a health basis, a personal basis, we are all there to support one another. It is incredible. The reaction of viewers when they come to meet us is worth all of the, the early mornings when we have to get up for our early morning shows. Some of the customers come on as craft ambassadors and things like that, craft along with us and being able to actually chat with them on air, I love it, I really love that connection with them. We've had lots of uh, shows where we've done like um, craft alongs especially, where we've had viewers craft along with us. We had a particular viewer, Joy, who joined us once before and she literally made me cry on air and Jo uh, because the things she said about us it really was quite humbling that there are people out there that watch us and and invite us into their living rooms and really treat us like family i kind of love that tissue box michelle says rhonda you definitely have my vote oh we haven't started yet but hold fire on that vote uh love the tissue box says lorraine and do you know generally there's a lot of love coming through through michelle for you today um people saying how glad they are to see you back and beverly bryant one of those saying it's so lovely to see michelle it's been ages so welcome back into the bosom of the crafters family <laughs> thank you it's lovely to have you here now uh let's have a look at the scent with love this what did i say <laughs> we're doing this Oh, scent with flowers. <laughs> oh, I've got all of the stuff ready for scent with love. So that's good. Have you? <laughs> it's because you're still you're still sh in shock from the tissue box. I am still in shock. <laughs> do you do you want to uh, say what? We'll flash up the details. I'll, I'll tell you uh, the price. No, no, it's fine. I'll tell you the price. Then we'll get into Michelle's demo, and then I'll show you what you're getting exactly at the end. But it's a 17-piece collection. I've literally been stood here all the way through the break with that there. I mean, it's my fault. I'm trying to blame on everyone else, but it's definitely <laughs> my fault. And it's been all here, and no one's said, why have you got that there? Why haven't you got that? Anyway, no, nobody noticed, did they? That's the problem. It's Friday. Um, so it's £100 or $128 for this collection where you're going to get uh, so much. You're going to get all of your um, uh, crepe papers in there. You're going to get all of your foam. You're going to get linen cardstock in there. You're going to get your 12 by 12 paper pad and a whole host of beautiful dyes as well. Should be £178 or $229. Platinum price is £100 or $128. Um, incredible value for money. We'll start Michelle off on a demo um, and then I'll walk over there, get all the bits and pieces and we'll have a look at the full collection at the, no, say sorry, it's my fault, at the end of the demonstration or if Michelle needs a pause in the middle, I can, I can do it then. I'm very unprofessional. I'm going off to the naughty corner, um, over to the professional, the other side of the studio. Oh, me? <laughs> yeah, I'm just looking for the professional. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. I can try. Yeah. I can try. So say it with flowers. Um, I've picked the classic Baroque frame. I absolutely love this. It's gorgeous. Uh, and the charming chrysanthemum. Okay. So let's pop this one out first. So 
absolutely gorgeous. You can see it's such <coughs> a beautiful, beautiful frame. So let's bring in a bit of craft card. Uh -huh. Let me just get my plates. So uh, that way. There we go. So let's pop this on to there and then I pop my plates on top. And let's run this through. So I've, I've actually started using my smaller plates a lot more in my uh, bigger machine. OK. Um, I don't know why I wasn't doing it before. It's just so Do you find quicker. you have less need for the bigger ones then in the, in the Gemini? If, I'm, if, I've, um, if I've got lots of dies that mm. I want to run through, then I, I normally have my bigger plates. So if I've got like, um, so I've got dimensionals on tomorrow. So if yeah. I'm uh, using a bigger die, then I use my big plates. But for, for lots of little things like this, I've started using my smaller plates a lot more. Because it's quicker, isn't it? It is a lot quicker. I mean, it doesn't really take that long to run through anyway, but it is just so much um, quicker doing it that way. It really is. So let's just move all... I love this bit. So again, um, it's sort of the waist, but if I bring that piece in and pop that in the middle and paper piece it back in, it really, really looks stunning. It looks totally different. So let's pop those to the side, move that, and I'm just going to bring in my, uh, say it with flowers, and I'm just going to die cut these couple here. So actually, let me use that one as well. So again, let me bring in a piece of card, small plates. In fact, turn that over. I'm not going to pop that one on. Let okay. me just get a bit of tape and my oh, pokey tool. I'm just thrown in the bin. <laughs> <laughs> Don't throw it in the bin. No. I've, I've had this, this pokey tool, I've had this since I started crafting. Have you really? Yeah. I going to say, it does look a bit antique -y. Loved. <laughs> Loved. I just can't find the end of my tape. There it is. I know I should have it on a roll before someone says anything, but... What, your pokey tool? No. <laughs> my tape. Oh. <laughs> I said I couldn't find the end of my tape, and I know I should have it on the um, dispenser, but... I haven't. Right, let's, let's pop this through. <laughs> yeah, so just... Do you know what? Yeah. Debbie, working with these false nails on all the time, and she, you, it's, it's a skill. You'll have to have a chat with her then, see how, what the tips are for <laughs> working when you've got your posh nails on. Yeah. I don't know how she does it. I'll definitely be asking for... Um... Is it the first time you've had your nails done then, or...? Um. It is. The last time I had them done was when I was first here. Can you remember when it was you and Craig? And it was my first ever show. On your first ever show? Um, and I was going to my son's wedding and I had falsies on for the wedding. Because uh, okay. my nails just don't grow at all. Mm. Um, and it, that was a bit of a struggle. But, you know, it's been over a year, so I forgot how hard it was. Uh, but, you know, I'm getting there. Um, so, right, what are we doing? I have got my pieces here. So, let me just... that's. Just there we go. So I've got my pieces here. And again, so on the um, piece of waste that's come out of the middle of this one, all I've done is I've stamped this. Yeah. When I count my blessings, I count you twice. Oh, that's cute. And I've just inked a little bit round it. So when it pops back in, if I use the wa uh, white, it's going to stand out against it. So let me bring... I've got all sorts of bits next to me. So we're just going to pop this card together. So let me just move those to the side. So I've already started um, bending it. So we've just got a side stepper. Yeah. So I'm just going to pop uh, those down like that. I'm going to bring in my tool. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to burnish those sides. So there we go. So I've got a nice, lovely um, side stepper card. Move that out of the way. Carol's been in touch to say, great to be back home and able to watch live. And she says, I love the way Michelle says card and her accent. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was, I was sort of, well, it's, it's not something when you've got a Yorkshire accent, people normally say to you, is it? Oh, that's a lovely accent. <laughs> <laughs> How do you say card? Card. 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 
I've never really noticed that, but yeah, okay. It's a nice accent. I, I don't mind it, actually. Um, I'm not, I'm not what I like to call a broad Yorkshire. No. I mean, I've got friends who um, have got like a broad Yorkshire mm -hmm. accent. You can tell you're from that part of the world, but it's not like that strong, I would say. No, no, it's definitely mm. not. I love the accent. I love all the different accents. I wish I had an accent, but mine is just very... Posh. I just, my, what? Posh. <laughs> Posh, did you just say? Yes. I haven't got a Devonshire accent, George, but I mean, I am, fr I do, you know, I am from Devon, but I, I don't have a Devonshire accent. I think I'm very nondescript with the way that I talk. No, I'm not. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 ho. Nicholas, go. You're like, oh, ho, 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 ho. What, 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 what? I don't think I talk like that. <laughs> yeah, like, I, yeah. Nicholas said you need to be doing more like the North East accent. I think I'm getting that quite, uh, quite damn pat now, as you'll see earlier on when I did my impression of Sarah when I wore her wig. <laughs> what you do, you like, man? I'm not singing me like man, no way. <laughs> I'm getting out of the tune like man. <laughs> oh. George, George is just saying, when I first came up here, because obviously there's places up here that the locals call slightly differently. So there's a, I've told this before, I'm sure. That the, 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 the first company <laughs> barbecue that we had was at the cricket club in a place which was written T-U-D-H-O-E. Um, so Tudho, right? That's written T-U-D-H-O-E. So we, deci we decided to get the bus over, um, me and Laura and the kids, because we thought, oh, we go over, you know, enjoy it, have a few drinks, and then you know, get the bus back so don't have to worry about driving. So the bus stopped outside the village hall in our village, and then um, I got on the bus and I said, oh, ha hello, hello, um, please, <laughs> please can I have a return ticket for my family? Hello, my good man. Please can I have a return ticket for my family to Tudho? And he looked at me and he was like, you're what? I was like, Tudho? <laughs> and he was like, you mean Tudha? I was like, oh, yes. <laughs> Standing out like a sort of the southerner that's just moved up north. I was like, oh, yes, sorry, yes, yes my good man. Uh, tickets to Tudha, please. Um, and then I've learned since then, there's, other, there's another place up here, which is P-R-U-D-H-O-E, Prudho, Prudder. So, I mean, just, yeah. <laughs> I love that story. Every time you sell it, it really makes me laugh. <laughs> Prudho. <laughs> <laughs> Nicola's taking the mickey out of me in my ear now because she's from up this way you know she's got the the accent yeah <laughs> tudder prudder you all sound English to us says Peg uh, and I'm from Ireland says Carol and I love trying to guess where each person is from I love the Irish accent as well that's a beautiful accent yeah Oh dear. I love Sharon, Sharon Callis, oh, yeah. when she comes over. Yeah. She reminds me of something of Snatch, you know, the film with Brad Pitt. I've never seen it. Oh. Mm. It's a <laughs> it is a beautiful accent. Um, I think I've got some lovely accents here, actually. I like Craig's Scottish accent. I, I like love Craig's your, accent. Yeah. All of your northern accents. I'm just the, the posh one, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> I wish you could hear Nicola while she's watching this car be put together. She's like, "Ooh, this is how you talk. I wish I could. I'm going to have my afternoon tea now. What? 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 <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> <laughs> what was that? What? 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 That was like a, off a comedy show, wasn't it? It's from um, um, the. the <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What's it from? It's, um, what's he called? Kathy Burke and... Um, Harry Enfield? Yes, Harry Enfield oh, and Oh, yes! <laughs> what, 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 what? <laughs> I don't talk like that. I just think I just... I, my, I'm just not very nondescript with the way that I speak. <laughs> just accentless. <laughs> <laughs> Nicola, shut up! <laughs> She's going, oh, I'm going to go to the palace for my lunch. <laughs> and have some finger sandwiches and a cup of Earl Grey tea. <laughs> <sighs> Is it nearly time to go home? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's really funny. Um, so these two here that I cut out, I've, I've just popped them um, over there. And that's the one that I didn't cut out. So that's the bigger one. So let me just show you. 
Um, when you cut it out, it, the petals fold beautifully. So that's all I've done with that. And then I'm just going to bring in a couple of leaves. Mm -hmm. I can't think what they were called then. Just going to get my pokey tool and I'm just, just going to give them a little bit of dimension too, just to match that flower there. And then we're just, I'm going to bring in my hot glue gun again. Yep. I always find it if I'm using, if I'm making flowers of any kind, even if they're, if they're out of paper or card, I do tend to uh, use my hot glue gun. I just find it secures them a lot better. So let's pop that one just there. And then this one's going to go around. And again, it's um, flowers are absolutely perfect for if you want him to really make some sort of sentiment on your card really stand out. Mm. So pop that one under there. Beautiful. And then, last but not least, I've got glue strings all over me. I've just got the corners. So again, so it's from this die set. I've just cut those corners out there. And we're going to pop this one up there. This one is going to go down here. So let me move that one. So I don't like that there. So pop that right in the corner same exactly the same as the bottom one so it matches and then i think that's it i think i'm quite happy with that so if i just move all my mess to the side for you turn it round that is gorgeous just sometimes just one flower i know i always say i'm definitely a more is more type person but sometimes just one flower on a card really looks fabulous I absolutely love that so much. Let us know in the comments what you're thinking, which one are you going to be voting for potentially. Um, let's have a look through the full collection of Saint Flowers. Susan, I didn't show you at the start. Um, hey to Heather Sprigger, who says, we have a town here called Mantua, pronounced Manaway. What? Lol. So it's spelled M-A-N-T-U-A, pronounced Manaway. Um, oh, yes. It's like Loughborough. Loughborough here in the UK, so it's spelled L O U G H B O R U G B O B O R O U G H, and um, yeah, I think what you said is it was it Jenny who pronounced it that? Oh, so Erin, uh, who used to be here, our American friend Erin, <laughs> saw Loughborough written and she thought it was pronounced Luga Baruga. <laughs> it was actually Loughborough, which is funny. Um, there's a place down, I think I've said this before again, and you'll know this one, George, in Devon. Um, I think it's either North Devon or Cornwall, but there's a place uh, which it, it's written Wool Fard is Worthy, right? You, you read it on the sign, Wool Fard is Worthy, but it's pronounced Woolsery. Absolutely 100% genuine. Yeah, Wolfhard is worthy. There's, in in Norfolk, there's, it's the same. There's loads of places. So you see it signposted, and, and the one that always sticks out to me is it's spelled Happysburg, mm. but it's said Haysborough. Haysborough? Haysborough. Happysburg? Happysburg, Haysborough. There's a place in Cornwall, <laughs> right? I did one more, which is it's on the sign when you welcome to Mouse Hole, <laughs> right? Mouse Hole, it's called. Mousel. <laughs> it's not called mouse hole, even though it's written mouse hole, mousel. Figure that one out. How are people supposed to, you know, learn to speak English when... I know. You know? <laughs> um, and Rachel's just put, in Norfolk, Wymondham, Wyndham. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. And they'll laugh at you. They don't correct you in no. Norfolk. They just laugh at you. They're like, she's not a local. <laughs> You're not from round here. <laughs> My accent, says Kirsty Lee, is definitely a Teesside accent, but when I shout, I have a posh accent, lol. I blame working in kennels and stables where you have to shout clearly uh, to each other. Absol absolutely uh, right. And Pamela's just said, choosing one card to win is going to be hard. It is. Can I just say as well, because we had a message from Anne earlier on saying, does anyone know if crafters will ever have more crepe paper available for the sake of flowers kit? We, the, we, well, we've still got the... You get the... You can get it, you can get this again. Yeah. So you can get this individually, or the whole kit, obviously, which has got the, um, the crepe uh, paper in it. Um, but, what? 
I don't, I don't know. We'd have to find out. I don't know if or when we're bringing crepe paper just out oh, on its on own. On its own. Oh, right, I understand. Um, but you can still get it in that kit, obviously, but then you're getting everything mm. else with it. But again, you're going to be wanting, because it's got the tape in. Yeah, it's got the foam like balls, that. floral wire. Yeah. It's twelve ninety nine, and you can't. You can, by the way, you can buy. Uh, the reason I said it is because you can buy the, this individually, all the elements individually. So that might be the way to go, Am. But um, yeah, the, the crepe paper on its own, no. But this is crepe paper in. Well, you've got the rose, the carnation, the dahlia, the peony, and the uh, foliage. Then you've got floral tape. You've got your foam balls, and then you've got your green floral wire as well, and that's twelve ninety nine individually. So that might be the way to go. But anyway, you're going to get that within this kit, and I'll just quickly rattle through all everything that you're going to get. It's mahoosive. So you've got that um, bundle. Then you've got the Say It With Flowers twelve by twelve paper pad. You know, one of the most beautiful paper pads that we've done. You'll get a full one, not one that's been hacked to pieces. Uh, but again, if you've loved this. Uh, launched today, the Flora Bunder pad, this is one that you're gonna absolutely go for and will work wonderfully with that pad as well. So you're getting 36 double-sided complete sheets um, within that pad. Then on top of that, you're gonna get your 24 sheets of linen card. So again, three sheets in eight colors to give you your 24 sheets. And those obviously match up beautifully with your papers. Then you're gonna get all of your flower forming foam as well. So 12 sheets of your flower forming foam included in the bundle. And then all of your templates to be able to make all of your beautiful flowers. So all of the um, colors of the crepe paper, of course, are in the bundle, but then you're gonna get your peony, you're gonna get the templates to be able to make your garden rose, you're gonna get the templates to be able to make your carnation, and then you've also got the templates for your dahlia. On top of that, you've got ribbon, so all of that ribbon is included in three different uh, colors and three different widths. You've got all of those gems included in there as well. Again, corresponding colors. You do get some clear ones as well, so if you wanna color those in and use those elsewhere, you can. Then you get all of your floral dyes, so these perfect for using um, with your papers, perfect for using with your vellums and your flower forming foam should you wish, but you've got your delightful rose. That one there is your beautiful peony, and again, you get all of the different size dies to layer up those florals with all of the petals and the stamens too. Then you've got your charming chrysanthemums. Oh, chrysanthemums. Then on top of that, you get all of your sentiment dies too. So these, um, again, beautiful kind of uh, front pieces for your cards, like statement pieces that you can add on because you get the um, outline die for the uh, sort of matte and then you've got that layer on top of your sentiment so that one is happy birthday you've got dearest friend can you see the value you're getting here for 100 quid you've got your just for you and then on top of all of that we're giving you your stamp and die set which is your pretty peonies again if you love doing your coloring color in that nice big stamp cut it out with the die included you're getting your timeless elegance which is that beautiful uh, creator card frame talking of frames you've got your classic baroque which is uh, that beautiful frame there and then some of the elements that you saw um michelle using just a few moments ago thank you george who says if it's not baroque don't fix it. Then you've got your floral splendor. Again, another beautiful frame, screaming to be paper pieced. And then that beautiful intricate arc. Um, that is absolutely stunning. Reminds me a little bit of like, um, sort of like a flamenco fan, that one as well, yes. doesn't it? Uh, absolutely beautiful. 100 pounds, 128 dollars platinum. That is 178 pounds, 229 dollars worth of uh, product for that amazing price. Uh, and as like I said, if you want to go for individual elements there as well, you can do. Just check the web for full details on that. Right, next. We are. That's a huge, huge, huge. Oh, huge. <laughs> pile of goods. It's a huge that. pile of goods huge. that I had there. <laughs> Um, £100 or $128. Huge. I was going to say, say something very intelligent, but my, the second word out of my mouth went wrong, so I just I didn't bother. <laughs> um, Judy on Facebook says, when we watch British shows, we have to turn on the closed captioning. <laughs> Is that the same with us as well? Have you, ever, have you ever read the closed captions on these live shows? Yes. Some of the things which come out are hilarious. Hilarious. Uh, Lillian says, Ben, oh, a joke. I heard this joke the other night. It's a bit difficult to communicate in type, but it was about how scone is pronounced, posh or not. Like, is it scone or scone? Well, it could be scone, not posh, but when you've eaten it, it's definitely scone. <laughs> scone! 
<laughs> That's the old joke, isn't it? What's the, what's the fastest cake in the world? Tum. <laughs> Sil says Loughborough should either be pronounced Loughborough or Luberu. Same vowels pronounced differently in the same word is not playing fair. No. Mm. But it's anyway, it's, that's also when you think of words like cough and the word bow. Because bow is B-O-U-G-H, isn't it? Like bow, and then you've got yeah. cough. So why isn't it a, a cough and a boff? <laughs> <laughs> or a bow and a cow? <laughs> that's true though, isn't it? It's true, it's no wonder the English language is so hard. See, that's why I struggle with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's why, isn't it? When people like again, there's a place near London, isn't there, called Slough? Well, why isn't that called? Sl why isn't that called Slough? <laughs> well, yeah. Slough. S L O U G H. <laughs> Slough, not Slough. Anyway, Ben, when you say Arkansas, are you being funny or do you need some help with it? I'm trying to be funny. <laughs> I know it's Arkansas, but I because it's Arkansas. <laughs> I'll start saying that. I'll just say the. I'll say I can <laughs> Are we doing say, say what we're we doing? Something with love now. Okay. Do you want me to show all the boards again? Okay. I'll show you. I'll tell you what. I, what I'll do. I'll show you the box now. I'll show you all the boards later. Uh, so the scent with love we launched on Wednesday as our um, <laughs> January new. 230 elements. You can see them all here, actually. That's what this big display's for, Ben, so you don't have to go through all of the boards. So um, this is what you're going to get within the box. 230 elements um, you're getting. So um, within this bundle, as you can see, you're getting uh, card blanks. Four by six, six by... Uh, sorry, yeah, four by six, six by six and five by seven, four of each, all of the corresponding envelopes. You're going to get uh, 24 printed papers, 24 sheets of your coloured cardstock, six metal charms, th three satin ribbons. George, you're supposed to stay on that. So that, I, so that I read this and it makes it look like I'm doing it off the top of my head, <laughs> not that I'm reading the box. <laughs> I mean, you, I, you mean, I'm reading it now and then everyone's like, you just know what he's talking about. Ready, steady, right, go. Okay, so what are you going to get off the top of my head? You get 12 card blanks, 12 envelopes, 24 printed papers, double-sided, 24... 24 don't come back to me. 24, I can hear you. 24 sheets of your coloured card socks, six metal charms, three pieces of your satin ribbon. You've got 13 <laughs> acrylic stamps, 22 metal dies. You've got a 3D embossing folder. You've got your heart panel stencil, your je t'aime stencil, uh, eight pieces of white card sock, eight pieces of craft card sock, eight by eight. And you've also got your 100 piece self adhesive gems uh, just off the top of my head. Now, that's what's in the box. Box. <laughs> but in the showstopper deal, you're also going to get all of these other goodies as well. And we were chatting about this yesterday. Um, you know, we, we've put in items that we think are going to really help you uh, with this collection. It's not like we just throw in like random items and think, oh yeah, that'll do. We'll bung those in. Loads of stamps in this set. So we've put in the rocker blocks to help you get a clean, crisp stamped image each and every time you are stamping. Then we've popped in a lovely selection of classics, colours of which we think will work beautifully with the colours that you've got within the box as far as your papers are concerned. Remember, alcohol markers, um, you've got your twin nibs on these, so one end you've got that um, fine nib, other end you've got your chisel nib for those sort of bigger, bolder strikes of colour, and those are all of the colours that you're going to be getting here within that set. You've got like um, cherry red and mango, you've got uh, carnation, you've got the um, fuchsia, there's loads in there. That is included. And then also you're going to get 16 sheets of your Nina cardstock as well, which you'll use in conjunction with those beautiful pens. Um, Wonderful bundle, £47.99 or $63.19 is the um, price on that one. And again, we do not have a lot of stock of that remaining. So I think supposed to be coming back on Second Chance Sunday, but can't confirm or deny whether that will happen uh, because it is almost disappeared. And also uh, on that front, <laughs> Pegs just said, okay, just trying to help you out, lol. Thank, thank you. I, I knew you were. I knew you were. Just trying to be funny, lol. Um, <laughs> although I do know there are some people that like, do think Arkansas is Arcan Ar Arkansas, a lot of people say as oh. well here in the UK. Arkansas. Because obviously you've got 
Because you've yes, yeah, so that well, there you go. Because you've got Kansas, haven't you? And then yeah, of course. Arkansas. Is Arkansas near? Arkansas is not near Kansas, is it? Or is it Kansas? I don't no, know. I don't know. My my US geography is terrible. What's near Mississippi? What's near Mississippi? Arkansas. Sorry. Mississippi's near, Arkansas's near Mississippi and Dallas. Oh. Kansas is, Kansas is Oklahoma, Kansas, Mississippi. <laughs> uh, are we having a break in a minute? Because I feel like I need one. Yeah. Um, we, we're also going to just very quickly, before a break, show you the Floribunda um, collection. Now, this one is today's <laughs> today's um, <laughs> launch. Uh, over 18... <laughs> wasn't that funny? Because <laughs> you're really making me laugh now. <laughs> one Mississippi. <laughs> two Mississippi. <laughs> you're also getting um, the Floribunda uh, collection. This is today's new launch, uh, which is is the uh, Floribunda pad. Uh, let me show you this quickly because um, <laughs> whilst we just, um, we're getting ready to take a break. So you're going to get uh, within this the brand new Floribunda pad. Uh, 36 double sided sheets that you're getting here. Uh, beautiful, beautiful collection is this. Um, and whether you're using the A track or the B track, I mean, boy, oh boy, just simply stunning um, we were encouraging you earlier on you know what to get um, this and then get the um, collection on its own because whilst you're getting a lot of bang for your buck you do only get three of each of the designs so if you love them as much as we do chances are uh, you're probably going to want more so you've got 36 sheets double-sided included within that paper pad that's the pad itself then you're going to get your sentiments so your uh, simply said vellum pad eight by three is the size on these and you get uh, 36 sheets in total you get three of each so um, three of this so gold silver and black same again here gold silver and black same again here but some lovely sentiments i won't go through them all but you've got happy birthday you've got i'm so lucky to have you you have got uh, friendship is one of life's greatest treasures and also just to pick another one you are amazing remember that that's what you get as far as the new launch is concerned but in the showstopper we then give you the make and send um, pad, which has got all of the envelopes and all of the cards and um, embellishments to go with it. You get the really hard to get your hands on delightful daisies collection 12 by 12. You also get my favorite paper pad, the garden gnomes. You also get one of the most popular paper pads from um, last Christmas, the winter solstice. It's got that real beautiful sort of scandy feel to it. We're giving you 10 sheets of that pumpkin uh, centura pearl. You're also going to get 10 sheets of our beautiful uh, lavender, purple, violet, purple, purple glitter card. And then you're also going to get 40 sheets of um, our printables in Chira Pearl, the pastels, um, which is absolutely amazing. All of that for just £52 or $72 plus 50 bonus points. Boom, shack, a lack. Um, if you want to go for the news on their own you can um however whichever way you go stock is dwindling um we are well over 80 percent of the stock of this has now gone right we're going to take a short little break um roseanne says it's been a long day for ben it has been a long day for me actually it's been a lot it's been a long week um i've enjoyed it but i do feel like i'm gradually sort of running out of steam and I, if you think he's, he's what's he been on tonight i just feel you know last last show of the week um you know how it is Right, we are going to come back. When we come back, we'll do the demo of the show. We'll do the demo of the day. We'll probably throw in another little demo, and we are going to go through a picture gallery. I think there's something like 741 pictures, so we'll do that after this short break. Many of our viewers bring it up time and time again, and that's our wax seal, seal gate. Thinking, Joe, it might not work as well because I've put too much... <laughs> Oh, I've forgotten to put me, um, <laughs> me thing in place. <laughs> because I have a way of words, but I think that doesn't engage with that and can come out all wrong. Water. That, that wasn't the one you just washed your brush in, was it? Sorry. Yes. It doesn't matter. <laughs> no, it wasn't, was it? 
<laughs> Are you kidding? I'm going to have to say, it's a slip of the tongue. I'm going to say it's maybe to do with my Scottish accent. I'm maybe going to say it's because of Mr. Uh, ben Mosby. He is, well, yeah, he doesn't help matters. Fire Um, I've made pots that have exploded when I fired them. I've done zips in inside out. It happens to everybody. We've all spilt our glitter all over our project or knocked the water over. You are. I've just noticed I've got my dress on inside out. <laughs> <laughs> so I was messing about doing some backgrounds with the sparkling, took the lid off it and managed to catch the pot somehow and the whole thing came towards me, down my front, across my lap, onto the floor. Went to reach for the water and, you know, do the, the, the tapping with the, the, and so there was less tapping and more sort of a tsunami. Um, <laughs> I've got some... <gasps> What makes Crafters TV so special is uh, you guys. It's really special because the the experts are really experts. They're they're um, really skilled at what they do, and they want to make sure that the audience also improves on their skills. Crafters TV is so special because you've got together a really sort of key group of people um, and people that are very passionate about the products. Crafters TV is so special because it's a unique community that we have with each other where we can learn and grow and communicate with each other. The community, the family spirit, the education, everything to do with craft. We are all like-minded people who share a passion. I love all the inspiration the demonstrators bring and all the knowledge for us out here. What makes Crafters TV so special, 100%, it's the interaction. No other crafting TV channel or show has the same interaction. I love the community, I love chatting live, uh, I think that's the best part and uh, it's gone beyond crafting because we've become friends. It feels to me to be a really, really close relationship with our customers and viewers. You guys make us feel like we're part of your family. I've never been on the show before, but one of my friends who I did meet from CCTV encouraged me and I was on the craft along. A massive team of people and I think they've all got their role to play uh, and it just brings everything together. It allows us to do our job and just love it. Ah, oh, the people obviously, the people not just here at Crafts Companion, uh, but the viewers that watch us, I mean everybody. We have this real magical essence about it. Bye for now. Bye. Welcome back, everybody. What a day. Um, what a show this has been. Um, what a week. What a week. What a day. Uh, what a show. Right. I, I didn't, we don't really have 700 pictures to go through, but we thought, you know what? Because so many of you sent in pictures, we thought we, we've got to share them. So thank you so much. It's a, I think it's a mixture of a little bit of everything here. Um, and also because George has taken so much time to pop these into a little gallery for you. So let's go through and have a little bit of a look. So these um, cut emboss folders that we had earlier on, how gorgeous is that that um, Chris and has popped together? That's stunning. I love that. I love a good shaker card. That is what you call a full shaker as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Super full. Um, Olga. Oh, wow, Olga, that's amazing. I love, I can never remember um, all of the different collections, but I love the one on the left particularly with the, um, the sentiment yeah, within the I frame. Yeah, I love that. Um, I love the fact that as well that you've actually, um, what do you call that, that you've... Uh, you've got your charts for all the different colours there. Chart, swatch. So you know, yeah, you swatch so you know what you've used. Love that. Um, Olga then also sent us this beautiful. Oh, this is the mac one of the macro embossing oh, folders, isn't this it? This is my favourite. Yeah. I love this. Olga, you have been busy because then we've got another one. Uh, this is another one of the macro embossing folders. So how how simple is that? I mean, do you know what I mean? Like beautifully done, but so simple to create yeah. with those. A beautiful bit of um, ink, inking, some embellishments, little sentiment over the top, but looks the absolute business, doesn't it? It really does. You don't need a lot with those, but she's done an absolute beautiful Stunning job with that. Olga. And then Olga, I appreciate this. Who is this Olga? <laughs> Who is this little cutie with the Christmas hat on? Oh, oh he is adorable. Love. 
that dog. Um, yeah, need to let me know the name in the comments, but that is super cute. And then Olga, not only have you got a cutie canine, but you've got a cutie feline as well, who looks less happy to be wearing the hat. <laughs> I've got to say that. Um, not as impressed, but then that's cats all over, isn't it, really? It um, is. Very super cute. Love your pets. Love your cards, Olga. Thank you for sending those in. And Alison Yates has sent in a beautiful card. Look at this with oh, the, um, that. their daisies. That's stunning, isn't it? I love a daisy. Mm. My favourite flower, I think. You guys are so talented. This is amazing. And then Lillian. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, wow. Chinese New Year card. Which was That's last gorgeous, week. isn't it? Absolutely brilliant. Lillian, love that so much. I love, love, love that. Really nice. And then Rachel, our Rachel's little one. <gasps> Oh, look how cute he how is. How super cute. <laughs> um, he looks uh, very happy to be Aww. snapped. Love the little um, sloth as well on the bouncy chair. <laughs> oh, that, do you know what? That takes me... I remember when my two were in those little funny bouncy chairs. Yeah. yeah. Seems like years ago now. Oh, super cute, nice. Rachel. Uh, Rhonda. That's the same with Flowers Collection, isn't it? Yeah. That is cool. Oh is it my a, oh, it's goodness, a, a look little at memory that. Book. That's a huge memory book. That is a br that I is so love brilliant. That. So we're all, we're all close up to the screens <laughs> now in the studio just appreciating that close up. That is gorgeous. Um Rosalind, um this is uh using Crafters Companion ribbon and foam flowers. <gasps> Oh, oh my goodness! Do you know what? I couldn't. I couldn't see what that was initially, but it's the it's a bodice on that beautiful dress. That's amazing. Foam flowers and ribbon. Wow. That's incredible, Rosalind. Thank you so much for sending that in. Gorgeous. And Sandra, Super Sandra from up the road. This is the box oh, that Sarah was that. Um, showing earlier on from launch day. I said this earlier on, but how great isn't it? And how interactive are we that we can show you all these things and then you guys are literally doing them and sending yeah. in pictures within like an hour or so. Yes, yeah. Great That's Sandra, brilliant. love that. Um, and then Terry Anderson, look at that. That's the Ooh. wisteria, isn't it? I love that. Like um, a, use a pe oh yes, powder, using yeah. the petal powder. And, and like a, that's like a rocker card you've created. Love that That's with lovely. the window. Um, Terry, very, very talented, super <laughs> talented. And Terry, this is... Your dog's called... Oh, I want to say your dog's called Bailey. Um, yes, and your... Look how happy he looks. Well, they, <laughs> they both look happy, don't they? <laughs> Seriously. Seriously. Oh. Look at the doggy smiley face. <laughs> Thank you, Terry. That is an absolutely gorgeous photo uh, of your family. And then Zoe oh, Carver, this is brilliant. <clears throat> look at all of the flowers there that you've created. They're fabulous. Oh, wow. Love them. Everybody, thank you so much. It's always like We should do more picture galleries. I don't think we do enough of them. No, definitely not. We definitely need to do more. Yeah, I think we should um, resolve to maybe at least try and do um, a picture gallery once a day. Once a show. <laughs> well, not once a show. I'll, I'll definitely get in trouble for that. But maybe once a day. I think, because, you know, you guys, I know you guys, like, tag us, um, you know, in pictures. And you can always do that on Facebook, you know, whether it's on, like, a, you know, one of the crafters um, pages or whatever. But you can always tag us so that we can see all of your pictures. But I think it's nice when we show everybody else on Crafters TV. So we'll look at that. Now, um, we have got 20 minutes remaining. Got to do a demo of the show. Got to do a demo of the day. But first up, we're going to squeeze in another demo with the Floribunda collection. I've just been through all of that with you. Um, so you, we'll get the details up. But let's have a look at what... Uh, what Michelle can concoct in the next sort of 10 minutes or so. What are you going to make, Michelle? Uh, I'm going to make a card. <laughs> well, no, I'm, I am. I, it could have been a box. It could have been a tissue box, but it's not. It's a card this time. So I was... Um, I've already picked some of that... It's so hard to pick a piece of that paper to use because each and every piece in that collection is just absolutely stunning. Um, so I've picked a piece here. Yep. I've already matte and layered it onto some black card and we're going to pop it onto some white card. And then I've picked again, obviously one of the sayings, um, friendship is one of life's greatest treasures. So uh, I've, I've cut these down. I'm going to pop that on there. And what I'm going to do is, so earlier I was saying, uh, you can either, uh, about the different ways to glue them on. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to use some um, brads or some split pins. So, I'm just eyeing that so it's in the middle. And I've just got my pokey tool and I've got my um, 
stamping mat and I'm just going to pop it through and create just four little holes um, for the brads to go into. So if you don't have um, a, a stamping mat, mm. then just use a folded up tea towel if you've got one of those. Uh, it's okay. just something so when you pop in your pokey tool through, it's just it's got something to go into because it's not going to go into obviously um, my mat. So I've just got four small um, split pins or brads, whatever you call them, uh -huh. and I'm just going to pop them through. Um, so. Just to say very quickly, just whilst you're popping this through, um, blaming George here, that first card that we saw was actually Christine Mahoney. So here we go. I am blaming you, George. Um, Christine, thank you. Uh, you typed it, I didn't. Um, Christine, thank you. Uh, that is a beautiful, beautiful uh, card. Uh, so thank you. Apologies for popping up the wrong name. But there we go. <laughs> Hopefully that's rectified it for you. Uh, lots of love. Thank you so much for sending that card in. Marvellous. <laughs> <coughs> Oh, do you know, George has had it each, each way today, haven't he? <laughs> Bless him. Poor old George. We love him, really. We do. We love him, really. <laughs> so I'm just trying to find the, the split bit. There we go. I, actually, I'm, um, I'm struggling with my nails, so I've just, I'm just using my um, tweezers. Oh, yeah. Uh, just to hold it and pop it through. So let's just, there we go. So not only obviously does it hold it on there and you not got no um, glue poking through anywhere, it just looks fabulous. And again, it's always nice to add a little bit of hardware um, to your cards and your makes. Again, it just, mm. it elevates it just that little bit, makes it a little bit more posh. Absolutely. Yeah, because you know when you go into, <clears throat> not that I do anymore, uh, the card shops and there's always one that's got something a little bit special on yeah uh, like a little charm or something like that um that they're the ones that your eyes always drawn to ridiculously priced oh yeah they're normally like the ones like sort of uh higher up aren't they yeah and you, you sort of pick them up turn them over see the price and then you put them back <laughs> yes mm. <laughs> yes we do yeah so there we go. Friendship is one of life's greatest treasures. And what I've also done is, so I've got this cut down a little bit smaller. I'm so lucky to have you. And again, I've just done exactly the same with those brads or those split pins. So I'm gonna bring in my card. So I'm just gonna Do you know what, Craig, this. I think it's Craig, because I was just thinking when you were saying then about um, going to card shops, I think it's Craig who purposely does go into card shops just to see kind of, <clears throat> what you know what's going on as far as like yeah. new trends and things like that are concerned I think it's always good isn't it to kind of do, do your research definitely and pop I always card shops and have a look we've got um a card, card shop in in Fakenham where I live yeah and I must admit I do go in there and I'll pick a card up and I'll be like I could make that so much better <laughs> and I'll put <laughs> yeah. it down disgustedly and I'll pick another one up and I'll be like I can do that so much better than that yeah but even to the point where um Alice will come in, in with me and she'll pick one up and she'll say, you could do that, Mum. Yeah. Yeah, I could. <laughs> the thing is, though, isn't it? Like, you know, doing with what we do and, you know, being as creative as you guys are, as we've just seen on the, um, the little gallery there, you know, fair enough. If, you, if that's what you want to do, go into a card shop and buy a, you know, nondescript, kind of non-personal card, which is, you know, no thought put into it. But look at what you guys can do, creating all of these amazing cards, cards that you you know, wouldn't even dream about seeing in a card shop, really, would you? Because, you, wouldn't. you know, they're so beautiful, so fancy. And again, like, you know, being able to create bespoke cards for a particular person, um, I, I just think, you know, what we do here, and what you guys do is, is, is tremendous and hats off to everybody. Definitely. Mm. And it's not just about, um, I think, the, how much you can spend on a card or how much you can sell it for. The fact that it is so mindful it is a wonderful um, hobby to have. Um, but it is, I mean, we all know, I've you know, told you many times how I got into card making. Mm. So it's just, it's, if nothing else, it's mindful and it's fun. And, you know, you, you, um, you come across a community like we have with you guys. You're not gonna get anywhere else. No. You know, the, the friendships that some of you have created with, with each other, it's just amazing, it really is. 
Thank you for all the lovely comments coming through as well, just as we're seeing the uh, finishing touches here. Um, Olga just saying the swatches under my cards and the pictures were from the colour cube. Those were the first cards I made using the cube cards. I love it. I always struggle with colours. Well, Olga, I mean, your cards are amazing. Yeah. Um, thank you, Studio, for showing my pictures, says Zoe. I've never had any pictures shown anywhere before. Well, you have now and at the best place. Um, and Laura's just saying, I love the use of those small brads. I don't know that I've ever seen this done before. Um, yeah, brads are a, a nice thing to use with vellum, aren't they, particularly? They are. Let me just turn that around. For, they, they, they definitely are. Like I said, if you struggle with um, your glues and you, know, you don't want to be able to see anything coming through, brads are the absolutely foolproof mm -hmm. way of knowing that obviously you haven't even put any glue on, so... Yeah, there you uh, go. Amazing. Lots of love for that card. Lots of love just for the gallery as well. Stephanie says, um, I love it when you show makes from everyone live. You used to do it all the time. I've missed it. I'm bringing it back. Bring it back. I'm, bring, I'm bringing the galleries back. <laughs> like, uh, who is it? Justin T Timberlake. He brought yeah. sexy back, didn't he? he I'm bringing did. the gallery back. <laughs> Um, this is such a talented crafty community, says Rosalind. And yes, uh, says Four Holidays Designs. Hello, more pictures from everyone. Crafts, family, pets, locations, craft rooms. Yes, craft rooms. Yes. yes. Let's do that. We should have a day where we sort of do like before and afters, you know, um, if you've had a bit of a, a tidy up. I love that. I'm so glad, says Roseanne Carbone, I found this group. I don't know where I'd be in my crafting journey if I didn't find Crafters Companion. Thank you, Roseanne. And we're so glad that you're with us as well. It's yes. so lovely. I know it sounds so corny, but we, I love being here. I love like the crafty community that we have here. And I love that you guys love us and that we can share all of our inspiration and that you guys tune in to see all of our amazingly talented guys and all of the inspiration. So amazing. Um, oh, we're going to get Michelle to line up her mates to do the demo of the show. And thank you, Olga, who's just sent in um, the names of her pet. So Rue, um, pronounced, oh, R-U-X, Rue, pronounced Rue, yeah. And Kitty walked into my house two years ago, so he ended up as Kit Kat because I tried finding his home um, and he was answering to it. Isn't that funny? We had a cat once that did exactly the same and we ended up calling her Holly, who just literally one day walked into our house and tried to find uh, try, tried to find her home, couldn't, and then she ended up staying with us. Yeah, cats tend to do that, don't they? Uh, right, let's have a look at the demo of the show votes. Michelle can take us through all of our bakes so you can get voting on that and then we'll do the demo of the day. So Michelle, remind us what you've made. Right, so number one, was with those flower, uh, original flower farming foam dies. So that's number one. Mm -hmm. Number two is my tissue box with the uh, cotton emboss folder. Number three is um, that beautiful seat with flowers one. And then number four is the one I've just done, which is with the floribunda and the lovely vellum collection. So one, two, three, or four. I reckon you've got about two and a half minutes to get your vote in on that one. Um, and then we'll do the demo of the day. Uh, just whilst we're doing that, we'll have a quick look at one collection that we didn't cover, um, is the Wisteria collection. We showed this earlier on on Wake Up Call this morning. Um, so if you want to go back and see a demo with that, you can do. But uh, this is a selection again of items from the Wisteria collection. Um, and what you get in this set is a four piece set of your flower forming foam. And again, all the colours which are going to obviously correspond to make those beautiful wisteria flowers. I love as well that you get your um, embossing folder and stencils with this. I've loved how, the, how we've done this in a lot of bundles recently where, you know, yes, embossing folders are amazing. Yes, masks and stencils are amazing. But then when you partner the two up together, you can create something really, really very special. Um, and I just think it makes the whole process a lot easier to do. So that's a really, really handy set to have within the collection. This is gorgeous, the um, rustic window. Now that is a 3D embossing folder. Um, you've got the kind of peaks and tro troughs of the um, emboss there. So you've got the wisteria actually standing out a little bit more from the window that you've got there. Reminds me of like, you know, the sort of stately homes that you see here in, in the UK and like the you know, National Trust properties that always seem to have, you know, beautiful florals and foliage growing around the actual property. So that's stunning. Then you're going to get your dyes to work with your flower forming foam. So this is the wonderful wisteria. Again, you, I mean, you can use those with papers and venom if you want, but obviously they're going to look great um, with your wisteria. Then you've got this beautiful uh, timeless uh, cameo 
for your wisteria collection. So just a lovely set of um, frames there. Obviously take those out of this collection and use those elsewhere too. Then you've got your whimsical wisteria. Um, again, lots of sort of different branches and uh, florals in there that you can kind of use to um, build up or just accent a particular card or project. Stunning bird cage in here as well, that timeless bird cage. I was trying to think of it earlier on whilst I was going through this, and there's another collection that's got a beautiful bird cage in it as well, and I can't think for the life of me what one it was. Was it Secret Garden? I Did the Shinwazari have one? Shinwazari, I think, is a good shout. <laughs> I don't think there's one in the Secret Garden. But anyway, I'll move on. Um, <laughs> you're also going to get the beautiful trailing wisteria, so a lovely edgeable die in there. This one here, actually, the ornate window, I think Terry, if you're still watching, that's the one that you used on that rocker card that you sent in the picture of, isn't it? So that's rather lovely. Then you're also going to get your wisteria blossom. That is a stamp and die combo. And then, talking of stamps, you get loads of sentiments in here as well. So stamp sentiments um, in different types and fonts. Thank you so much. You've got always in our thoughts, with love, and a whole host more. And then you get a couple of stamps and dies. So this one is Friends Forever. So you get that beautiful font of Friends in the, uh, the die. And then lots of stamps to be able to make up your own sentiment. And then you've got Life is a Beautiful. So you get your beautiful um, die cut there. And then all of those different stamps to be able to create the sentence, whatever you want it to be. Garden party, says Rachel. We were all close, but not <laughs> right. We'll just keep naming collections and we'll get there eventually. Um, demo, what did you say? Oh, you said the word garden, so you were closer, Nicola, actually. Secret garden, garden party, chinoiserie, nowhere near. <laughs> Demo the show. Number two. Two! Yay! <laughs> Marvellous. Um, you Thank keep that you. one there, and I'll line these up here for demo of the day. You have to be quick on this, about two minutes. So, demo of the day. It's um, Michelle's... Ma Do you know what? I've got to be honest with you. This seems like, like two days ago... It does. ...that you made this. It does. Uh, this is from Wake Up Call, using the Say It With Flowers collection. Beautiful um, dome-fronted card with the happy birthday inside. That's marvellous. That's one. Two is um, Sarah's beautiful card that she made. I, 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 we couldn't think of a name of this one, but um, I said it's sort of very Art Deco in its sort of it effect. It is that. very Art Deco. But, um, beautiful card, using some of the vellum, using some floors, and just to show you, she also made uh, that matching envelope with the um, Embella box. So that's two. And then number three is the stunning tissue box. So one, two, or three, I, I reckon you got about two minutes on that one. Just before we sort of um, get the result, worth bearing in mind that we've got a jam-packed weekend coming up. Um, you are here tomorrow, aren't you, Michelle, with Debbie Fisher? I am. And Debbie's am. this side. Yeah, Debbie's your side. Yeah. Um, I'm here. We've got Play Crafts, right? Yeah. Um, which is going to be fun. Mm -hmm. Always. <laughs> um, I've got a masterclass on dimensionals, so we've got lots of boxes, things like that, um, the ornate screen die, and then I've, oh, I've got a craft along yes. with your favourite, the Summer Gnomes. Uh, oh, yes! It's very retro, the box I've made. Oh, I can't wait it's to see it. It's very 70s. Um, no doubt that will be up on um, the socials so you can see it. Um, and Christine is joining us actually for that. Yes. Christine Mahoney is going to be on that craft lunch. That's going to be amazing. Um, so look forward to that. And then on Sunday, of course, we've got um, lots coming up Sunday, including Second Chance Sunday with a big wrap up of everything that's been going on this week with uh, the Double D's. Debbie and <laughs> Debbie are going to be in. So that is going to be an absolute riot as well. Uh, and just um, also to remember across the weekend, lots to look for on the website. The Last Chance Saloon section, um, there's loads on there. Uh, it's all there on the home. Everything I'm talking about now is on the home page. If you click on that, you will see all sorts of goodies in there. And we've added more items to it as well. So if you've looked at it over recent days, you think, oh, I've seen it all. You haven't. If you've not looked today, you haven't seen it all because we've added new items in there. And also, just to mention that going live today, and it's live now, but running until midnight on the 30th, is our BOGO 23. Yeah, BOGO 23. The buy one, get one for 23p section. And this really is incredible because 
We've got things like our colour blend pencils here. And just to kind of give you an idea, you can kind of uh, pick one item. So you could pick the colour blend pencils and then pick a reinker. Um, so in that case, you'd obviously get the reinkers for 23p. But what I would be thinking about doing here is if you think, oh, I love the colour blend pencils, put two of those in your basket, pay 24.99 or 29.99 for 29.99, for one, and then pay 23p for the other. But basically, what I'm saying is look for the most expensive items and get one of the most expensive items for 23p. But there's pencils, there's edgeable dies um, you've got reinkers in there let's have a look at the next next slide please uh, sentiment dies stamps and remember that stamps and die sets you've got nesting dies in there as well next the card pads like this one here um, is a stunning beautiful um, card pad that's in the um, buy one get one for 23p you've got uh, stamps in there as well we've got ribbons included in the buy one get one for 23p and then last but by no means least you have got uh, storage in there you've got uh, crafting tools in there as well at some of your stamping platforms and then also the pattern guides as well right by the slightest of margins, the demo of the day two. Have I got two? Yes. Ah, oh. Sarah's. That I mean, it was a lovely knew I make. I should have accidentally hid it earlier. <laughs> <laughs> have you got stars up on this? I do. I've got two. Ah, oh, so you're all good. Yeah. Um, that the the one Sara star up on there is. I mean, it's debatable whether that should be up there. <laughs> and the Leanne be. three stars. Don't even ask. I saw the other day Leanne had about twelve. She actually put on ten there. stars up there. <laughs> it's, it, don't ask. Uh, but li listen, that is a lovely make, and um, certainly, you know what? You may not have won, but that is my one of my favourite demos of all time with the tissue box, Thank you. just because you literally read my mind. Yes. Uh, what a day. Thank you everyone for a really lovely day. Thank you for a fun week as well. Massive thank you to all the team um, on the socials, Rebecca and uh, Radical Rachel, uh, smashing it out of the park today. Thank you to Tracy and Julia. Thank you also to Nicola and Georgia the Joystick. Uh, thank you also to Michelle. It's been so lovely to have you back. <coughs> Thank you very much. It's been so good to be back. Yeah, and you're so here, good. of course, tomorrow. So it will be I am, amazing. Yes. Um, I think, am I with you next week? I want to say that I am. Um, no, I'm back. I'm, I'm at Hobby Maker next week, and then I'm back up here, I think, the, the 6th of February. Well, I'll see you then. Yes. Thank you, everybody, <laughs> for watching. Make sure you get those baskets checked out, and um, make sure you join us across this weekend. It's going to be amazing. Michelle and Debbie tomorrow, and Debbie and Debbie on Sunday. I'll be back with you on uh, Monday with the fish. What a brilliant week. Uh, thank you, everyone, so much. Enjoy the rest of your Friday night. Have a brilliant weekend, and we'll see you back here on Crafters TV tomorrow for more fun and frolics. Till then, bye for now. Mm -hmm.